Hi guys, this is Natasha and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a very cool video for you. I want to share with you my tips and tricks for outdoor beauty shootings and we are going to do this in a very beautiful location in our Airbnb in Dubai. This was the view from our balcony and this is the pool we are going to shoot in later. So the shoot was planned super spontaneously. I was in Dubai and I watched some Instagram stories and I saw that Elle is in Dubai too. So I messaged her in the night and she replied immediately and so we planned to shoot for the next morning. Basically this was our only free day in Dubai and we wanted to spend the day on the pool. So I invited Elle to stay with us and take some nice pictures. I was also super lucky that I stayed there with the best hair and makeup team. All the profiles are linked in the description below, so please go and check them out. For the first look we decided to do a very natural makeup look because we also wanted to shoot in the water and maybe underwater and we also don't wanted the makeup to melt in the sun because that day it was super hot in Dubai. I wasn't very prepared to shoot outdoor because we came to Dubai for some jobs in the studio and so I had nothing with me besides my camera and my lens. So I thought this is a great way to show you how you can do your first beauty shoots with natural light. We started to shoot around 3 pm and so the sun was still very high. This is why I decided to start shooting next to the pool in the shadow because I wanted to avoid hard shadows on Elf's face. In this set we tried different angles, perspectives and poses, but in the end I liked the close-ups the most. These are the results from the first set and you can also see what settings I used to take these photos. For the next set I wanted to shoot in the sunlight, so I asked Elle to stand in front of these palm trees and I took some body shots as well as portraits. When you want to shoot in the hard sunlight, it is very important to tell your model exactly how to move. One of the best things when shooting with natural light is that you can see how the shadows fall on the model's face. So if you are not sure how to start, tell your model to turn slowly from one to the other side and you can see exactly how the shadow and light changes in her face. For the next set we wanted to take some pictures in the water. It was very hard for Elle to stay in one place in the water without drifting away. So Daphne held her while posing in the water and we could take some super nice pictures. I hope you like the results from the pool as much as I do. And if you like the video so far and if you want me to do this kind of videos more often, then please give me feedback in the comments or leave me a like so I know that the video helped you. For the last set of the day we did a little makeup change and a hair touch up and then used the last sun rays at the pool to shoot this look. If you know me, then you also know that the last look of the day is always the most creative. And so we also played with some accessories in the water. We loved the idea of a summer makeup look with colorful eyeliner in the water and this scarf was the perfect match. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm already thinking about the next video. I had the idea to make a video where I take you behind the scenes of my image selection process of this shoot. I show you which program I use, why I decide for or against a picture and show you my whole workflow. If you are interested in this video then please let me know and I hope to see you in the next video.